okay so doing my nails is super easy all i do is file down my nail and then i use 100 percent acetone and i put it in a little baggie i let that soak in under hot water and then as you can see my nail was nice and clean and then i proceed to doing the gel and dip powder method so all it is is using a base gel coat as your like liquid and you dip it into dip powder you cure it and then you repeat the process and then you just end it off with a gel top coat super easy and now my nails are done yay We're starting the vlog in the car today and I got my dog mom with my coffee in it. I'm here with hubby. Say hi, babe. What's up? And we got his mama in the back. <laughs> Today's an exciting day. Hopefully, God willing, if everything works out, I get to get my car today. I'm gonna document it because I want to look back at this moment and remember everything. So, let's go. First time in the new car. Look at my first passenger. <laughs> Taking everything out of the car. Look good as a driver, huh? Open the trunk. I mean, not the trunk. The, the what? The what? I can't wait to be driving in the car. <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I'm really praying that everything works accordingly and we can get a good deal on this car. But I'm so freaking excited. And I'll tell you guys if I end up getting in the car in the next clip. So. Fingers crossed, we are at another dealership now to start test driving the same car, but now we actually get to see the car is. I'm not comfortable driving just yet, so we got Hubby here on the wheel. <laughs> now we're gonna take it for a spin, and we got mama-in-law in the back still. <laughs> so I didn't end up getting a car that day, but we're still working on it, and I'm excited when I do get the car, you guys know for sure I will be sharing it with you guys and touring it and all that good stuff, but for now, we're still looking. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another video. Today, I wanted to refresh my hair on camera with you guys because I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like sometimes and I'm trying this like new refreshing technique which I really do like. So I didn't sleep with my hair in a bonnet, just literally slept with my hair in that little high bun like you guys saw. And typically what I would do if I don't sleep with my hair in a bonnet is I'll put it straight up in a bun and today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rock my carefree curls because I actually really have been enjoying that look. I'm not really gonna be going anywhere just yet until my husband comes back home he is back to his like normal schedule so he's back by like four ish I have to start getting up early again which it's been a minute since i've done it so i'm just like Ugh. so i did my hair about two days ago yesterday i refreshed my curls with the suave refresher spray and i love the way my curls turned out i put some of this and then i also put some water and more of the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner and then i kind of just let my hair air dry and i love the way my curls looked yesterday and they're actually not that bad for not sleeping in a bonnet i mean the old me will be like girl there's too much frizz but now i'm kind of liking it you guys I'm kind of liking a more elongated wash and go a more like fluffy one. I'm not mad So we're gonna make it work and we're gonna do a cute little hairstyle So I'm taking the swab spray and I'm just going to wet and dampen the front of my hair I'm gonna go from here and then these pieces I'm going to leave out so they could be like side pieces I don't want to take too too much. So I'm gonna just take whatever kind of my thumb scoops up I'm going to take some more of the leave-in, I mean of the refresher spray, with my little edge brush to make sure I could smooth it out before securing it. Cause that, because then that's how you get those bumps, if you don't smooth it out before you secure it. I actually don't even feel like I need to refresh right now right now because I like the way this looks so in order to like complete this look I need some baby hairs like I need it I just feel weird I feel naked I don't think 
think I'm gonna be doing makeup today honestly I don't know we'll see because we have a couple of things to do and it's actually been a little bit since I vlogged and I miss kind of just like filling you guys in with stuff so you guys are gonna be like my BFFs for the day and I'm gonna fill you guys in in some really fun home stuff that I found on Urban Outfitters you guys I've never shopped from Urban Outfitters and I found so many nice things for the home that I wanted to share with you guys and I also link it down below in case you guys want to use these items or buy these items for your home too but girl there's a lot I gotta put you on too okay so I'm gonna start off with what little minor changes I did to this room and that way I can like move on to the bathroom which is where we got like a really fun piece so let's go actually let me put my stuff away first all right, so the only change that I did on this corner is that we moved Fishy. Now, Fishy is my fish, and it was just getting way too cold in here. And so the poor fish literally almost died. He almost froze to death because he was right here, and there was a window right here. So he was really, really cold. So I had this little shelf that was miscellaneous. I actually had ordered it when I was ordering my bigger one, but I got the wrong size, and so I just ended up staying with it because to return this was going to be a hassle. So I was like, whatever, I'll just make it work. And so. So I ended up putting it right here which it fit perfectly like literally perfectly I didn't have to move my glasses or anything and then I moved over this little kind of like nightstand situation that was holding fishy and I got this really cute plant from Target and I think it just adds the nice the perfect amount of like greenery to this little corner and I also really love this little basket that I got from the container store it just holds all of my camera batteries and chargers and stuff and I can hide it under here and it still looks pretty nice Nice. Now the decor on the shelf is not permanent. I kind of just, you know, put extra decor that I had laying around here. But this is not going to be the final look. But either way, I absolutely love this corner. I think it looks so stinking cute. So that is that. And this corner had the really big plant, which I now moved to this side. Look at the dogs looking out the window. Milo Mio! Hi! <laughs> Hi, baby! Who are you looking out there? <laughs> So yeah, so I moved that over on this side for more greenery and then here I moved my Mac computer Which I think I briefly mentioned it in a different video, but I moved my Mac computer over here This is the spare one and I use this to respond to comments just look at emails in the morning quickly I just bring this chair and I put it on this side and this is a really nice little You know just chill spot to just like talk to you guys and do like quick research and stuff like that Or I also use my iPad and then yesterday my husband brought me some flowers Flowers. I really been appreciating him buying me flowers because I think it's such a nice gesture. It's just beautiful So he got these pink roses and he came in with them yesterday and yesterday He was graduating from something from work and it was his day and he actually thought about giving me something Even though it was his day so that literally wore my heart and I was like, are you kidding me? Like today's your day and you're thinking of me So I have them here because I usually keep them in the kitchen, but they die super quickly So I'm testing out to see if I can keep them here for I'm thinking about bringing it over here but the dogs are always on these chairs so I don't want them to like mess anything up so I don't know for now I have them over here oh and then the pompous grass that I had on this corner I just moved it over to here because it makes a really cute background when you guys are looking at the videos you can see that and then I just hung this little frame that I had on the other side I was thinking of doing like an updated home office tour and like a beauty room tour but I feel like I always show everything in the vlog I don't feel like there's a need to do like a whole day dedicated one but if you guys do want that let me know because I can do that let me show you what I got from my kitchen no for my bathroom I can't forget my coffee sometimes I don't even drink it I have a really small teeny tiny bathroom like it's super tiny and we don't have much shelf space to keep like skincare products and stuff like literally I have a whole bunch of stuff everywhere and I try to keep the shelves minimalized because I don't like clutter it's also like a really inconvenient space because this is the heat or the trash can I put over here I used to have a really small one but I found this one at like home sense or something and I thought it was really nice and fitting with like the new theme but I did find this from home sense home goods Marshalls one of those stores and here we kind of keep our skincare our brushes and stuff just a whole bunch of random everyday use that I wouldn't want out displayed it looks nice here kind of just tucked away and then here this is my lid to urban outfitters fine and I'm absolutely obsessed with this this is just temporarily again I haven't really like filled it up with stuff that we're gonna be using but I do have a cute little plant that is so cute and it kind of just matches with this I have my jewelry tray this is actually a dish soap holder but I thought it was cute as a dish. jewelry tray holder and then 
then here our towels would go but we have to do laundry that's why there's literally no towels anywhere but we can fit up to three towels here I have this really cute candle that I got from Target the other day and it's so beautiful and it smells really nice so when it gets nice and steamy in here you can just smell that out I have here my extra shaving stuff I just throw in here and just grab it if I need it and a toner that has my name on it. I thought it was really nice to display it. The last and final thing from this room, I am obsessed with this. This is the Net Naked bath mat. Very fitting for the bathroom. Let me straighten it out. This is so stinking cute and I'm obsessed. I think it's just, it's beautiful. Look at these two boys. Look at these two boys laying on the dirty clothes. Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> I wrote on my to-do list. I've been doing really well. Forget the date over here, but I have a couple of things here. Um... I'm starting the closet cleanouts now. I already got some boxes out of the way. I'm gonna literally take everything out of here and then I'm going to open up all the packages, put them away. Maybe we'll do like a little unboxing situation, but this is clearly the before. I'm gonna show you guys what everything looks like once everything is out of there. <laughs> Hi. There is a floor, ladies and gentlemen. There is a floor. I am going to work really hard on never letting this happen again. I cannot believe all of this was in that closet. Like, I can't believe it. So I have a huge project at hand. This is a lot of stuff going on here and I need to tackle it. So the first things first I'm gonna do is open up all of the PR mail and then start sectioning things off by category. And I think that will help me just stay organized. But I am so relieved and I feel so good that we have all of this now space here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my show. I am watching Married at First Sight season 12 because you guys recommended to watch season 12. So I'm on episode two now. So I got to see like the five couples that are chosen and stuff So I'm excited. I'm gonna be well entertained for the next. I think this will take me I'm trying to aim for an hour. It's currently 5 30 right now So if I could finish by 6 30, that would be amazing But it just depends on how fast I work. I also put my hair up because I was getting really sweaty Ladies and gentlemen, I have made so much progress. I'll show you guys some of the really fun things that I got in the mail. And definitely stay tuned for giveaways because this is a lot of stuff and I have so much stuff upstairs as well. And for the Splee giveaway winners, I think it'll be fun to just send you guys stuff from my PR mail. And I do want to say that I'm incredibly grateful to have the opportunity to get noticed by these brands. It is such a huge blessing and I literally get emotional every single time because I've dreamed about moments like this and to see it and witness it and experience it it just makes me so grateful so why not share it with you guys as well I organized everything I put all of my chancletas here because I didn't realize how many I had I love how slippers they're just the best and so I organized everything and the only thing is left is this bag that I have to tackle but this is my little basket of socks and so yeah so this room thank god it is done we can close that and I want to show you something super cute so the first thing is this hoodie from curl print or curly print I believe and it's this really nice hunter green and it says curly gang I need to wear this before the cold weather leaves because these last few days have been pretty warm and I freaking love this I wish I would have opened this on Dominican Independence Day because this is so stinking cute from house of curls thank you so much for sending me this shirt I absolutely love it and then I got another hoodie in the mail i just love me some hoodies and this one's also super cute and now i can show you guys all of the fun goodies that we got now again i am not gonna go over every single thing because there's a lot going on over here and i don't want majority of my video to be this but i will share with you guys brands for makeup i am gonna be doing makeup videos once a week so i will demo of course like new makeup and stuff so that's why i'm not gonna get into too 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 much details on this so milani came out with some new stuff we have a new supercharged line and I 
love Milani. Milani Cosmetics and e.l.f. One of my favorite drugstore brands. So they came out with a whole bunch of new stuff. I'm excited to try the multi sticks because of their pigmentation. They look really nice and pigmented. You can use this on your cheeks or your lips. So I seen the like cream blush trend is really trendy right now. So I want to try that because I haven't done that yet. Nude sticks gave me a bunch of goodies, which is really nice. Skincare stuff, um, which is nice to see them starting to expand. I got a ton of nail polishes. I love doing my nails, but unfortunately I don't really use regular nail polish anymore. Not even on my toes, but we'll give it a try for the summertime because some of these shades are so beautiful. Like look at this color, how beautiful. It's, it's from Nails Inc. London and they're vegan, cruelty free, and it's chocolate scented. What? This is Coco for real. I love this shade. I don't do regular nail polish because they chip, but I will try it on my toes because these colors are beautiful. I'll give some of these to my mom, like some of these muted tones. She doesn't really wear loud colors like me, but um, these are so beautiful. So we got some fun stuff from ColourPop. I love ColourPop. We got some lashes. I have not tried ColourPop lashes, so I'm so excited to test these out. We got a whole bunch of small little palettes. Are you kidding me? I haven't played with a ColourPop palette in so long, so we got a bunch of those. They also packaged a lot of their products in black for Black History Month, which I'm a little bit late. Well, I'm actually really late, but I thought that was a really nice concept to do that of their like best seller. So that was really nice. Moving on to some hair products, Briogeo sent over the Don't Respair Repair shampoo and conditioner, which is nice because I have not tried this out. I love the mask. He did get a teeny tiny Don't Despair Repair deep conditioning mask, which is really cute. And we also got a little oil from the line. We have the e.l.f. in collaboration with Chipotle. Oh my god, you guys. I cannot wait to do a makeup look with this. Look how stunning these are. First of all, the colors are beautiful, but the names though, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Pinto beans, black beans, so freaking cute. I can't. So they had a whole collaboration with Chipotle, which is really, really nice. We got some stuff from L'Oreal. Oh my God, I wanna try this foundation so bad. I did pick it up myself from Ulta. I just haven't tried it out, but according to TikTok, they say this is like one of the best powder foundations. So I'm excited to test that out. Got some Ollie vitamins here. This is the Flawless Complexion. I did pop two in because I got a little hungry while I was doing all these unboxings and they taste really nice they have a kick of like minta i don't know but they're nice i want to try these out i love ollie their vitamins are so yummy and i usually have the multivitamin one the woman's one so i was really excited to get this in the mail what else can we talk about we got some more elf stuff here i love their little eyeshadow palettes because you can make a whole look just using these which is really nice we got some brushes i love elf brushes we got a primer a lot of fun stuff from elf derma e always make sure that we're fully stocked absolutely love them my husband uses them as well and they got us some really good stuff I'm gonna start using this again I used to love this so much the microderm ablation scrub I have like two or three of these upstairs so I do want to give some of these away because because this product is literally the truth I have not scrubbed my face in a while so I am gonna put this aside because I want to use it tonight and we got some face scrubs a gel cleanser we got some urban skin rx back there which is really nice and then we got a whole bunch of hair products we got a new line from Suave, you guys. I want to test this out because last time Suave did their curly line, I freaking love it. And you guys saw I used it today to refresh my hair. So this is the Luscious Curls line and I'm excited. I definitely will be testing this out. Diva Curl sent in some of their products. I don't know if I'm going to be testing this. To be honest, I've been doing pretty well without Diva Curl. So I don't know if I'm going to be using Diva. OGX came out with some new new and then Can't Too also came out with new body butter. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know that I'm obsessed with their skincare line so far. They're, they're doing really well. I've gone through two or three tubs already, like the 2B one. Obsessed. My skin feels so hydrated. So I saw like a mango one, a tea tree one. Oh, stay tuned because I'm going to be using these in the vlog. John Frieda sent some stuff. I'm not really a John Frieda fan. I have not tested their products out. I don't know. 
I have a bunch of John Frieder products and I just haven't used them. I need to use them because as of now, I just have been collecting their stuff and haven't really given them a try. So if you guys have given them a try, let me know. This seems to be a new line, their Dream Curls line, and they gave me everything I need for the entire wash day, which is nice. So let me know if you guys have tested anything from John Frieda and if you have, what is your favorite product? I wanted to give a quick shout out to Bare Minerals. Thank you guys so much. It is an honor to be on their PR list. I love bare minerals and have used them for a while and i've been wanting to get a bronzer from them i love bronzer and i want to test this out so i'm excited they send a whole bunch of goodies again i will be doing makeup tutorials and just testing out new products we got some eyeshadows from revlon so much good stuff here we are going to be busy for the next few weeks which is really really exciting last but not least i've seen this brand circulating all over instagram and youtube and this is the list line i believe you would call it it is a black owned brand that is now in sephora so they send me a whole bunch of good stuff here i am so excited to test out their products as well so thank you much i don't know if it's lys or list beauty thank you so 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 much i am so honored <laughs> last but not least we got some stuff from wild one you guys they send me a whole care package and i just love when they're <laughs> The dog's bubble bags are on brand. Look how beautiful this is. Totally my aesthetic. This is so nice. They send them a whole bunch of goodies. They send them treats. They send them toys. Oh yeah, here's the treats that they sent them, which was so nice. And they also sent them a conditioning shampoo. They're actually now available in Target. So check out Wild One because they have really nice, aesthetically pleasing stuff for your dog. This actually took way longer than I thought. It is currently 9.17. You guys are not gonna be seeing it but it's 9 17 and i started at five o'clock i don't know why i thought i was gonna be done in an hour i don't but at least the closet is cleaned out i didn't get to go to the gym today which i'm so sad because i really was excited about going to the gym today but this was important i needed to get this done tomorrow is another day so i'll be able to go to the gym tomorrow but now i have to put all of this away i'm gonna take a really nice calming bath or shower i don't know which one i want to do yet we will see and i have my bra like all messed up I'm gonna try not to let this happen again, but make sure you guys are commenting the secret emoji in every video That just lets me know that you're a real one and that you've watched the entire video and that enters you for a giveaway Sometimes it's going to be product giveaways Sometimes it's gonna be just cash to your PayPal or Zelle or cash app whatever I'm kind of feeling that month It just depends on also where you live But I do want to make sure that I'm giving back to you guys in the best way that I can for those of you who Constantly show support and actually enjoy my content. I will see you guys tomorrow.